here's what people who actually get social capital understand about all of those signals that are being posted on social media right now. The best way to offer emotional support is to go a level deeper. Now, what do I mean by this? There are levels to connection and communication. Surface level is social media. I'm posting it up there. It might be public. It might just be close friends, but it's very easy and surface level for me to post it. What's the next level from there? It's email. The next level from there is phone call. The next level deeper from there is in-person communication. So you have surface level, which is social media, nearly public, or maybe completely public. You have email, which is a bit more intimate. Then you have your phone, and then ultimately you have in person. The people who understand networking at its best, at its greatest, and are most effective are those who can take the surface level signals and go a level deeper and pick up the phone and congratulate someone on their wedding. To pick up the phone and be like, oh my God, I'm so sorry to hear you lost your job. Is there anything I could do to help support you? Where are you looking to go? What opportunities are you looking for? To offer emotional support to your network a level deeper than where it was posted or where you saw it is how you grow that social capital. So many people are like, oh, I write happy birthday on posts. I like and comment on social media. I'm offering emotional support. And yes, those notifications are great. And we all feel good when we see our friends liking and posting about stuff. But we certainly feel more supported by a phone call, by an in-person meeting, even by a really thoughtful email or handwritten note. Understanding that emotional support is not at a surface level, and the more you can get involved in other people's lives and either cheering them on or cheering them up, the more support and social capital you bring to the table. The convenience that all of this technology has brought us has made certain aspects suffer and connection and intimacy through connection is one of them because it's now so convenient that we don't even think about it. And you mentioned somebody's birthday and you, maybe you like the photo <laughs> and post it on their, Hey, it's my birthday post. Happy birthday. That does nothing. In fact, they're getting happy birthday from hundreds of people that they have met all over the world. And now you are one of those hundreds of people. If this is somebody you care about, if this is somebody who is special to you, then why do you want to duplicate what hundreds of other people have already done that is not registering to somebody that you care about? Understanding that picking up the phone is going to go much farther. Now, some of you might even be like, I don't talk on the phone anymore with all this technology. Okay. But you could still, that's not an excuse. You could send a video message. Absolutely. You can send a text. There's many different ways that you can separate yourself from the pack and let people know I am here for you. The extra mile is never crowded.